my wheel tring stand. I now need to build the wheel. The rim is a WTB I40. So it's 40, 40 mil wide because I want to put a three inch tire on it um, to get a nice big, big footprint. I had some letters left over from freaking bikes. So I've stuck them, stuck them all around the rim. Yes, just make it look a bit special. The purpose of this is not to show you how to build a wheel. There are millions of, of YouTube videos to teach you how to do that. I did a wheel building course down at, um, where did I do the wheel building course? Hey Alexa, who does wheel building courses in Birmingham? Sorry, I don't have an answer for that. Wheel building course, Birmingham. Oh yeah, there we are. It was at the Birmingham Bike Foundry down in Sturchley. These are my notes from that wheel building session. It was, who? 8th of December 2019. That's a long time ago, isn't it? But anyway, made all the notes. I built a front wheel uh, when I went down to do that with them. How did we get here? I have been riding this original rim for four years. That's how long I've had the bike. And I've noticed when I was cleaning it, some of the, you can probably see there, how raised that is. The splits in the rim, it's starting to split and I thought before that uh, becomes a catastrophic failure, it's a good opportunity to put this course into practice and finally build a rear wheel. I would highly recommend going and taking a wheel building course they're going to have all the equipment and you're going to be able to practice and make mistakes and most importantly learn how to measure everything properly because that's the um, that's the real key to it. These measurements that you that you take on the wheel, I took them to the computer, poked them into a spoke calculator and the calculator tells you the length of spokes that you need. Being a rear wheel and there being a slight difference between a centre to flange and centre to flange, they're going to be slightly different length spokes, left or right side of the wheel. So I've ordered my spokes, not quite the sizes I wanted, so I've gone up a millimetre on one side. That should be absolutely fine though. A little bit nervous, done all my measurements. Hardest measurement to get is your effective rim diameter. WTB website, if you buy a rim, they have all that information on there. However, it, you should always go ahead and measure it yourself. The only other thing I've had to put these, buy these, these were extra. These allow me to sit a through axle hub in the stand centrally. Da -da. This is the hub off the old wheel and I planned to reuse this once I'd taken the wheel apart. If you look on the, the flange there, the, some of the holes have really been, really been worn out of round by the, by the spokes constantly tensioning and, and releasing. So there's a couple of holes that once I'd got it apart and looked at it, I thought for the money, have a new one. It's a slight upgrade on this one. This is the MT400 coming off the bike. This is the M618. Probably a bit, little bit of weight difference there, but other than that, it was very tempting to buy some real swanky Hope hubs. But at the end of the day, I am building a utilitarian wheel that I am going to do this two again and I would rather be able to replace the wheel myself and re rebuild it myself than um, than having to worry that I've, I've destroyed a, two, a 200 pound hub instead of a 40 pound hub. So that's my thinking. The hub was about 40 quid, the rim was 80, the spokes 
were seven pound a packet not a massive outlay the outlay has been on the tools but hopefully um, by investing in the tools i'll be able to um, look after both mine and mary's bikes um well and louis and teddy's and oscars and well anybody maybe if you need your wheels true i am pretty good at truing wheels i've got to say that I'm, I'm, I'm anyway we're feeling confident we're feeling confident i'm a little bit nervous but i'm confident i can do it so let's get on with it just gonna build it i do this because then i'm superman but i can't see anything so i'm just gonna have to build them as clark kent <laughs> I've taken all of my spokes and I've used different colour greases to grease the threads on the spokes so I don't confuse, get confused when I'm building the wheel as to which length is the right hand side and which length is the, is the left hand side. Let's lace the wheel. Oh and also the spokes that I bought came with the nipples. They're just brass ED coated, not expensive dropped it what happens if it goes wrong and the money and the time do you know do you know how to build a wheel i think i know somebody who can help orla hi i'm ever so sorry to disturb you i've got to um i've got to build a real wheel uh, people keep telling me that it's it's a dark and mysterious art and i don't know nothing about dark and mysterious arts and i wondered if you had any any real advice or if you had some sort of magic or well anything really that could help welcome friend whilst i am well versed in the ways of the dark and mysterious arts i cannot help you with your quest once upon a time it may have been for the realms of the great scientists of our age now Wheel building is simply mathematics. Anybody can build a wheel. It's not a dark art. It's not a dark art. So anybody can do it. Anybody can build a wheel. Oh, well, that was a bit of a waste of time, wasn't it? Didn't even have any magic. I've laced, laced the wheel. That's all I've done. It went well. And I have tensioned the spokes just to the point that the thread's not showing. So all that remains now to do is to true the wheel up and get it tensioned and nice and tight. Almost there with the with the truing. So from here on in, it's just a case of of going around the wheel and making real minor adjustments but I'm really really pleased so far it's um it's all all seems to have to have worked I am really pleased with that I don't think that's going to get much better super pleased with that all I've got to do now is take it out of the stand preload it <laughs> So if I'm doing this right, and the, <clears throat> I will lie it flat on the floor in a minute and, and stand on the rim. But if I'm doing it right, there should be some pinging to get the, uh, the twist out of the spokes. Check that it's all true again. I'm over the moon with that. 